Hello viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Today we're looking at Cliftophones. One on the left here, with its wonderful oak case and gilded fittings externally and internally, is probably about 1924, and probably for colonial use. You've even got a little drawer here for records, and in fact you'll fit 12 inch records, a most unusual thing to do in those days. Second one here in the wonderful crocodiles grained leather case and gilded fittings this is probably about 1927 and it's got the patent tube amplifier in there which extends the tone on by about six inches seven inches by and sort of works on a reflecting principle uh, this one which is the last one probably about 1933 french motor strangely enough and probably the whole thing was made in france under contract to pathé something like that that's also got the patent amplifier but it's hidden inside this one was retailed by harrods Extraordinary. Let's have a listen to them. We're going to play "As Wonderful" by Alfredo and his Electron Band. Here we go. jolly good. Try, oh dear, that wasn't so good. Let's try it on this one. Here we go, see if I can get this one at the right speed. Oh dear, that doesn't sound so great, does it, viewers? Right, let's try again. There's something wrong with the sound box there. We'll have to try that another day. Anyway, you got the idea. Let's try it on the very last one, which works on more or less the same principle anyway. There we go. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay. 
are superb and you know it's extraordinary it doesn't seem to make a difference whether you have a great fat tone arm or a little thin tone arm as long as you've got the matching decent horn to go with them now I should show you this that one's not a good example that's a better one even though it's busted yes that's come out hasn't it oh dear well, as you can see there's the sa there's the sound box which lies horizontal on the sound on the uh, uh, record and it has a celluloid diaphragm impressed with all sorts of things. I wonder if we've got a better example here. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. That's the early version with a sort of tortoiseshell celluloid um, with a stiffener in the centre there, a bit like a, um, a sort of uh, phonograph reproducer, really. But it's all very stiff and uh, rather unflexible, all the mountings there, which are non-adjustable, really. It's a tiny bit of adjustment, nothing too dramatic. So that's why you sort of... Uh, although I must admit, not a bad sound, really. There you go. Awfully unusual machines, really. You don't often see Cliftophones. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and goodbye.